How's it, man? Chief, himself, <laughs> my friend. I want to tell you a story. Okay. Okay. My new story I want to tell you. My mother told me a long time ago. Yes. I <laughs> said the man and his people went to see the hand of a guy to marry. Okay. Okay. When they reached there, the host prepared them some sort of meal huh. and plenty of drinks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They sat down, they were eating, drinking, enjoying themselves. Yes. They were there for a long time. Then another group came hey. into the house. Mm -hmm. When the host invited them to eat, and then they said, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah. But their mission was very, very urgent. OK, OK. Uh, what was their mission? Uh, they said the mission was very urgent. So they were asked, what is your mission? And said, they, they have come to seek the hand of the same guy. The same guy of marriage. So the host summoned the guy. The guy came out. They apparently knew the two families. <laughs> so she was told that uh, this is uh, the second party uh, want your hand in marriage. Mm. She agreed. Come on, boy. Hey! She accepted. Oh, so the first group got up and started the, the protest. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we will not agree. Because because of this guy, we have come since morning to sit down in your in your compound to keep you company. Yes. Another group come, you give the girl to them. We will say, said, no, it cannot be so. When you came to my house, I was I was entertaining you, giving you food, giving you drinks. You did not tell us uh, 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 what your mission is. <laughs> and these people came in the two rooms and showed me. My people, why I am saying this now is that uh, I don't want another group to walk into this door now. And now as you know, tell me that I did not tell him my mission. <laughs> If I was you, where is my wife? Hey! I can see where you're going. You don't have any problem, eh? But I'm going to solve your problem right now. Right away. Um, my wife, Alice. Alice, yo! Come, 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 come. Hey, hey! You hear me, guys? Yes. You hear me, guys? Go now and call me Annabelle. Don't waste time. Come Russia to this place.
Why, Daddy? Leaving us in the hands of this cruel world without love, guidance, and protection. Why, Daddy? Now your brother, whom you left us in his care, wants to marry me off to make money. Daddy, is it fair? You said I'd be educated and grow up to be like a princess. But Daddy, I've been sold off to a man with four wives, an old man. <laughs> Daddy! Oh. Life can be hard when you were standing on your own. No one to care for you. That was what's happened. And since then, she has not been herself. So where is she now? Don't I hope they've not driven her to something much. Because if anything happens to her, I will not forgive any of them. I won't. Hello. Thank you. Are you alright? Yes, I'm alright. Has Nancy told you what happened today? Yes, she did. And I've decided that you cannot be used to better Uncle Miss Lot. If he wants to help, he should send you to school. After all, that was what he promised our father when our father was dying. And then he and Kumi was taking over our house. This house. And all the property. Mm. Now he wants to marry you off. After making me a salesboy in his new shop. Let's go and see. Uche, Uche, please. Let's not rush things. Please, let's take things easy. Listen to me. I'm your elder sister, please. I'm the first son of this family, and I say we go and put a stop to all this nonsense. Did you hear what I said? Let's go. Good. Okay, that's fine. That's okay, fine. there is something I want to. I mean, we, Annabelle and I, want to discuss with you. What is it? Uncle, it's about the proposed marriage of Annabelle to Chief Okolo. And what about it? In my opinion, Uncle, I think what Annabelle needs now is to go to school. Not just Annabelle, Nancy, and also myself. If I can't go, and they can, fine, no problem. And I remember this was what you promised my father on his deathbed. Uche, so you are now bold enough to advise me on what to do about you and your sisters? Huh? You, do you know how much it cost me to feed all of you? Not, not to pay your school fees? Please, I don't have that kind of money. Hmm. Uche, but in mind, why do you condone rubbish? Just imagine. How could you allow these little rats to stand before you and ask you questions? Oh, eh? Annabelle, I learned that chief gave you some money, isn't it? Go and get me the money. Go down here, quick. No, no, no. Give me. Nonsense. This money is going into your feeding. It costs a lot of money to feed you twice a day. Seriously. See, you and your sisters are too young to advise me on what to do about you. Hmm? You are too young to know what is good for you. Go in there, take your dinner, go to sleep, leave your welfare to me. 
Is that right? Uncle, I may be young, but not too young to know that marriage of Annabelle, particularly to that chief, is not the best thing. I don't support it. I don't. Now, get out of my house. Get out of my house. Is it because I gave you a Is it because my parents know my life? Is that why you're getting out of my house? Is that it? Can you just ask? Get out of my house. This is my father's house. I'm not getting out of my house. Get out of my house. I don't want to get out of my house. Get out of my house. What happened? Did Uncle agree with you? He wants us out. If Uncle thinks that because I am young, that he can sell you off like that, then he's making a mistake. He is. Uche, you heard him when he said he would throw us out if I do not marry Chief. Please, I don't want you people to suffer on my account. Where will the two of you go to? No. He said, let me go to Chief. Let me marry Chief. What's your problem there in your house? Never. Let's focus on my life again. I keep on telling our people that if you don't put fertilizer on the land and farm, okay. it won't give you good okay. food. Okay. But they yeah. keep on thinking that fertilizer is white man's food. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I, go and help me tell them. I will tell them. Uh, let me see my question. How are you? You're welcome. How are you? You're welcome. Welcome, right? <laughs> Excuse me, you know you must be one of the luckiest uh, men on earth uh, to have inherited this uh, big mansion from your late brother. <laughs> Chief, yes. I am worshipping a living God, eh? not a dead God. Very good. That's why I deserve this. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Yes. Uh, uh, why don't we go inside? Uh, no, 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 don't uh, worry. Uh, I, I just uh, came to find out whether... Uh, I see you and I planned that your daughter will be coming to my house uh, so that uh, we, she can familiarize herself w w with my family and everybody. Uh, man, I you you like. understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Chief. Eh? Yes. I was thinking the best time would have been after the wedding. Uh, then you can have all of her, nothing removed. So why don't you wait until after the wedding? Man, I see, man, I'm beginning to think that the money that I, I lent to you it's much too much. I am thinking seriously that even after I, you have given me your daughter, that uh, you should pass me some some of the money. Gee, you know? Do we have to go through all this again? I've told you to be patient until after the wedding. Listen, my wife even told me that she is still a virgin. Yes. Okay, you know what happens there? Eh? Just wait. Okay, tomorrow I'll make her come to you. Mm. Yeah, send her to my place tomorrow. Honestly, honestly, honestly. Tomorrow, eh? Yes. Uh, can I see her now? Is it now? 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 Yes. With all pleasure. Just wait. Just wait. Um, Annabelle. 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 Come, 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 come. Uh -huh. yeah, Annabelle. Uh, Chief is here for you. Oh, he's all yours. You can have him, eh? Uh, Chief, yes. uh, just excuse me. Thank you. And I'm here. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Take. Take the money. You see, people must not hear that uh, a chief's uh, a young wife is uh, not getting enough money to buy whatever she wants. You know, I like the watch when you can buy some money. Take the money. Take the money. And I'll be a sweet angel <laughs> tomorrow. Eh?
What is the problem? Nothing. What do you mean by nothing? Come here. Where did you get all that money from? I hope you have not been stealing someone's money. I did not steal any of this money. Chief gave me the money. Chief gave you the money. Yes. Let me see. All this money. What for? You, you mean you don't know? No, what now? Your father wants to give me to that chief in marriage. That's why the man has been giving me money. Are you serious? Yes. Please. Please, Neka. Help me talk to your father. I just want to marry that old man. Please. Just help me. It's okay. Take your money. I'll see what I can do. Let me talk to my mom. with you. What did you do? Mama, what did you do? You planned and arranged for Annabelle to marry Chifoko. Mama, am I not good enough for him? At this my age, people are not worried that I've not gotten married. Yet opportunity that came, you give it to someone else. Neka. Neka. Don't be unreasonable. How do you expect us to allow that old man that is closer to his grave to marry you with three other wives? Hey! Aro, God forbid. My own daughter. You know you are my blood. My daughter will never be a widow at a young age. Mama, I understand what you mean, but even the young men are no more coming to ask my hand in marriage. Mama, five whole years after leaving the university, yeah. the ones that came, young person, are not good enough. For how long will I wait, wait Mama? Now? Mama, look at me. For how long will I wait? Look at me now. For how long? Make you are still a small girl. Hmm? Don't let, don't let that bother you. You don't have to be worried about that. You see, the right man will come at the right time. A very rich man. A young man indeed. Not an old man like that Chifoko. I am Neka. Go for big batting. Hmm? Don't worry. Hmm? Don't bother yourself about that. God's time is the best. Hmm? It's okay, man. <laughs> Yes. Uh, hmm? uh, so, Chief, she is here with you now. 
still be here for at least two weeks. Yes. And then I'll come to you to pick the money you promised for the pearl of my bank. No problem at all. No problem. Come to you. Okay. My dear. <laughs> Sit down. Now, is anything the matter? Yes. What is it? Uh, she kept some money under her pillow. By the time she came back from her bathroom, that money has developed legs. Which means somebody stole that money in this house. Hey. Yes. And I want that money returned immediately. Yes. And you, as my most senior wife, I want you to make sure that whoever took that money brings it back. You understand? If not, everybody will stay outside. We stand outside here yeah. until tomorrow. Are you hearing me? Please, so you people have heard what you've said. Whoever took that money should return it now. Please. <laughs> Is it because of someone's carelessness that I should be subjected to standing here? Eh? It's not carelessness. But because of some people stealing habits, that was why I lost my money. Hey! Uh, Everybody knows that you and your children are the thing. You are the thing in this house. What are you and your children? What are the thing? I tell you what. 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 I want you to uh, look after this young girl. Yes, uh, she will stay with us for one week. Mm. I think you should know this girl. She is the daughter of a uh, miss brother who died. Miss brother. Yes. Okay, uh, Ijendo's daughter. Ah, Ijendo. You, oh. you know, you you know her. Oh my dear, Chai, my dear, you're welcome. She was just little when the mother died. Yes. And just last day the father fell. Yes. It's a, warm. it's a fine girl. She is. Hey, oh. You must be hungry. Come, you must be hungry. <laughs> Pascal, what are 
you doing standing behind the door at this time of the night? I said I'm doing nothing, I'm just standing behind. Ask her, doing what at the back of the door at this time of the night? What are you doing? I said I'm doing nothing. Ask her, is it because of this girl that you... Ask her. My, what is, what is happening here? See, because of that girl that I brought, Pascal is hiding behind this door at this time of the night. Oh, 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 oh. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up, Ramon! Shut up! Come here! Get out! No sense! Oh, my dear, I am sorry. I would have shown you where to lay your head before embarking on cleaning my kitchen. But, uh, oh. Come on, sleep, oh. Yeah, oh.
disturb me. I I am looking for a man. Who is the person? What is his name? His name is Chris. He's my uncle. But actually the address he gave me is the house before this one. Then go there and ask them. I've been there but they said he had moved out. So what are you to doing here? If they told you he has moved out. As you can see, there is no case here. No, it's no, no. Can we have her man? No, I... this is Lagos. It's possible she's not looking for anybody. She might be one of these street girls looking for a man to latch onto for the night. You can go. But it, it, it not seems to be like that to me and um I said no. I think she has a problem. I know Lagos we... and Lagos girls. Please, you can go. Okay, um in that case, then you can take the, the next compound, try the next door, please. Please. I don't understand what you're trying to tell me. I can't let the girl go back to you here. Eh? That she will spend some time with us. You look up this morning to come and tell me that you don't know where the girl is. From that time till now, you don't know where the girl is. Eh? Did you not take that girl into your room with your children to sleep? Did you not? I did, didn't I? I did. This girl I saw her this morning sweeping the compound. Since then, I've not seen her. Pascal. Where is Pascal? Pascal! Pascal! Sir, come here. Where is the girl? Whose girl is that again, Papa? I don't see any girl. Pascal! Pascal, I brought a girl into this house that she will be spending some time with us. Pascal will not allow that girl to rest. Are you hearing me? Pascal, your mates are doing very well in the city. I don't know why you have decided to become useless and, and come and disturb me in this house. Are you hearing me? Now you will go to Mazi Ume's house. Go and find out whether that girl is there. If that girl is not there, then you will come and explain to me where the girl is. Mba! Nonsense, boy. Look at him. If you suffer nonsense, I'll... Are you here? Yeah. No, but I can't understand that you cannot simply look after one small girl. What kind of no, I don't need to tie her. All of us slept in the room. So this morning she went out to sweep the, the compound. I shouldn't be going around with her. So there's no other person to sweep that compound except that girl. All the children in this house, nobody can sweep except that girl. No, man, you have to find that girl. You have to. I mean, it's gross irresponsibility uh, uh, for you to uh, uh, abandon that girl uh, uh, just like that. No. Hello. Please, uh, is Mazuma home? Yes. Actually, my father sent me to come and uh, find out uh, if uh, Annabelle is back home. Nancy. Nancy? Yes, Uncle. Who is there and what is he looking for? Uncle, it's someone that says he's from Chief. From Chief? Yes. Okay, Pascal. Bring yes, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. The Chief send you? Yes, sir. Uh, he sent me to come and ascertain if uh, Annabelle is here because this morning we've not seen her. We're Nancy? Uncle? Did she come here today? No. No, but that hotel is supposed to be in the house. Oh, very good. Uh -huh. Oh, it's cheap. Yeah, but uh, we've not set our eyes on her since morning. Okay, go and tell Chief she's not here. Hmm? Oh, it's okay. I'll tell you. Okay. Good night, sir. Good night. Good night.
to tell you now it's highly confidential are you listening don't you in your life say it to anyone Annabelle has gone to stay with Chris in Lagos shh, shh, shh. Chris but he doesn't stay in Lagos anymore what he traveled abroad and that was last week. Before I call the police. Please. Don't call the police. See, I, 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 I'm stranded. I came from the village to look for my uncle. He used to live here. But now you people live in the house. Please. But I don't have anywhere else to go to. And, and I can't go back to the village. But I'm sure this girl is lying. Get out of my house! Just get out of this vicinity now! Please, I'm telling the truth. Thank you in the name of God, please. I don't know, I don't have anywhere to go to help me, please. Please. Honey, wait a minute. I think she's saying the truth. She looks stranded to me. Come on, let's let her in. Come on. What, what do you want me to do? Take her into my house? It could be your sister's stranded somewhere, or better still, you. Come on, let her in. Come on. Honey, I'm doing this because of you. And it's just for this night. Hey, you've always done everything for me, okay? Come on, let her in. Let her in. Of course. Wait a minute. You mean, I mean, you didn't let her sleep on the bed, bed because of your wash clothes. That's not fair. What are you talking about? You don't expect me to allow that girl to sleep on my bed? I don't know where she came from. And I don't even know if she has a disease. Besides, she's leaving tomorrow. She's not leaving anywhere. She's not leaving until she, until she finds a better place to relocate. That girl reminds me of my stay in America when I had a problem. 
I had to transit from America to Canada. Look, it wasn't easy. Everybody turned their backs on me. I was left all in the cold. Look, for crying out loud, I love, I love that girl. It, it could have been anybody. It could have been you. It had to be for God's sake. Please. Your name is Annabella. Here, take this money, go across the streets, get toast bread, scrambled eggs, and tea for your uncle. Here, yes, ma'am. Come back here. If you must live in this house, you must abide by my rules. Now, go into that store, you'll see some clothes. Get out of these filthy rags. I change it to something better. Thank you, my God bless you. Cup to the right. In case of a proper meal, you put the glass cup to the left, okay? Thank you very much. Uncle, uh, I want to thank you for last night. You saved my life. Oh, uh, don't mention. Don't mention. Um, what's your name and where did you come from? My name is Annabelle. I come from Anima village. I, I left the village because my uncle wanted to marry me to a man of 17 years old. My mother died when I was three years old and my father died last year. So with the help of my younger brother, I left the village to meet my uncle here. But on getting to this place, I found out that he had moved. Yeah. I don't know anyone else. Quite an interesting but a sad story. 
Anyway, um, you can stay with us until we find your uncle, okay? Um, but you have to be a good girl. I will. Thank you. All right. No. Uncle? Yeah? When I want to buy the food at the fast food joint, they told me that you buy all your food there. Okay. Yeah, how did you know? They told me. Okay. If you can give me some money, I will prepare everything you need. Everything. Rice, soup, plantain, anything you wish to eat, I can prepare it. That's good. That's great. Um, remind me to give you some money on my way out, okay? There's everything in the kitchen, just that Gina doesn't like cooking. Okay? Take care of yourself. Thank you, Uncle. Mm. asking you that. Well, I left her in your house. You mm -hmm. <laughs> I have information that a boy came to my house yesterday morning and took that girl. And that that boy is the girl's brother, which means now that I know and I'm sure that you are the one who sent that boy to come and take the girl. Listen to me, man. I am not interested in this your can-do magic that yeah. you're playing. You understand me? You are making a mistake. You are making a great mistake. Chief, Chief I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Just what I mean. You, you will understand. Wait. Uh, Uche! Okay. Come here, come here. Okay, come. come here, Yosko. Come. Stay here. What am I hearing? That you went to Chief's house and took away Anne? Is it true? Eh? Yes, I did. I had to send that to Lego. Eh? Alice! Alice! Listen. I'm not interested in your child hide and seek. I, no, 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 don't but, but me. Are, are you hearing me? I'm not interested at all. By tomorrow morning, if I don't see that girl in my house, I will lock up your shop. I will make sure that you go hungry in this town. No, 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 no. Yes. Good day. No, but, 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 but Chief, I, I, didn't, I didn't plan to take any... Listen, to, 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 to. that boy cannot live in your house and do that kind of thing, and you don't know about it. Hey. I, 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 I will not take it from you. Oh, no, 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 Alice, come here, come here. Can you see what, 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 what I'm hearing? Eh? That this, this idiot, when the Chief's house took Anne away, sent her to let us, hey, this boy fool. Huh? Hey. Uche, do you know the implications of what you've done? Do you know you've denied us food in this house? Uche? Hey! Uche, do you know the, the, the problems you've caused for your uncle? God. Nine. But I've always told you that this boy is too wicked. He is! He's too hard-hearted! He's a criminal! Uche, you don't have to show that to somebody who has been taking care of you since the death of your parents. Hey! In fact, Uche is a criminal! In fact, you are poisonous! Now, get out from this house. Before this noon, wherever you send that girl to, go and bring her back. some money to prepare a meal while I was going out, and I did. Come, let me find out if she's one. Annabelle! 
She's with us, you know. We could just put her in the computer school or something, just anything to help her. You know? It's okay, Bunny. It's funny. Yeah. Mm. Uh, let me allow you girls to just. Chat, chat. All right, ladies. Oh, all right, I'll meet you up in the room. Okay, then. Yeah. Uh, Bunny, I'm going to go to your room. Okay. Yeah. Janet, who is that girl? Anne. We met her at the doorstep. Oh, what do you mean by that? Exactly what I've said. She said something about her coming to see her uncle here and, you know, him packing out and stuff. So we couldn't just throw her out. Wait, wait, wait. Whose idea was it? Was it she should stay with just Fortune's idea? Oh, Fortune's idea. And you agreed to it? You agreed to it. Baby girl, open your eyes. Open your eyes. I am sure there is more to it than meets the eyes. Just, just come. And he's talking about sending her to school. Isn't she a woman? Huh? A pretty one at that. Janet, gradually, she will enter you and overtake you. You know you don't know how to cook. You don't know how to clean the house. She has beaten you to it. Janet, you're there. Oh, try to understand this. Try to get the picture. Are you feeling me? By the time this girl stays in this house, Janet, you're gone. <laughs> Saying that he wouldn't with you. Yeah. Mm. I have a feeling that something is going to happen. Well, the chief has locked up his shop. And as you know, he owns the shop premises. And I know Uncle will want to take it out. I'm ready for him. I am. I'm prepared. Look at him here. Take him away. My friend. Are you Uche? Take him away. Uncle. Are you Uche? Uh, yes, I'm Uche. Any problem? You're under arrest. For what? For stealing the sum of 20,000 there from his to make shop. Me? <laughs> Steal 20,000 out from his domain. You are required to go with us to the station. I'm not going anymore. I need to steal his money now. I'm going anywhere. Take him. Take who? Take him. 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 Take him.
in the police cell will not solve this problem. You see, Chief has closed down our shop. He has as well taken possession of the pickup van. This is our source of income. He does not even stop at that. He still wants to be given a wife you promised him. such promise, what do you have in mind? Who do you think you will give him as a wife? My dear, I wanted the money. Mm -hmm. Here you go. I wanted the money. So when he told me that all his wives were not taking care of him, the person that came to my mind was Annabelle. Mm -hmm. So my calculation was that if he left our house for Chief's house, it would be one mouth less to feed in our household. But look at it now. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Can we give you a mega? Eh? Mm, mega. I think we could do this to our advantage. Because if she marries him and is good to him, we could benefit more things from Chief. Oh, I think you've made a point. Because the old man is just a few steps to his grave. So if we make a can influence him to write a way to her favor, we shall all benefit. Yes, you're correct. Uh, but how do we convince Nekka to marry the old man? Nah, I'll talk to her. And if she dies, which might not be long, Nekka stands to inherit his wealth. Umena Jaruja. Then don't waste time to go and talk to Neka. Mm. Please, let her get the message. Let her grab the message and move into action immediately. Okay, I will.
kissing a woman. Huh? A pretty one at that. Janet, gradually, she will enter you and go back to the shoe. You know you don't know how to cook. She has beaten you to it. Janet, there. Try to understand this. Darling, oh. it was just an accident. Um, I think I'll get some new set of plates on my way home from work. Alright? Let's go. Official car and the accommodation will be ready today, you know. Mm. Yeah, um, no, I, I can't wait. Do I detect that you don't want to stay with me any longer? Oh, come on, dear. Without the car or with the car, I'll still be with you, okay? But the important thing is, uh, is that we're together, all right? Okay. I love you. I love you yeah, I'll see you now. Okay. Right? And a brand new Pojo 406. Oh. <laughs> I'm in a blissful mood. I, I, I forgot to buy us drink to celebrate. Mm. Um, not to worry, it's not too late. Um, where's Annabelle? Let me send her to go and get some champagne, you know, so we can. Annabelle! Annabelle! Only, I'll get it. Uh, Annabelle is not around, she's gone. Gone where? So far. Yes, I am, considering what she told me. I don't think she'll be in a rush to, to go back to the village. Oh, Janet, did, did you send her away? 
Yes, I did. What? I even drove her to the park. What? Okay, did you give her transport money or any money to hold? No. God, Janet, you are cruel. I mean, right here where I stand, I've come to realize that this marriage you are working on cannot hold. I mean, so heartless. I'll just go right in, pick my face, and head up for the hotel till my apartment is ready. God knows that's what I'm gonna do. How, how can you say a thing like this? Is it because of that girl? Yes. Look, that girl's situation has come to open my eyes to realizing the kind of girl you are. I mean, you're so cruel in their hearts. You could have been my sister, my niece, or any of my other relatives. You could have done the same wicked thing, Janet. God, you're so intolerant. It's all over. I'm leaving you. Honey, please. Don't do this to me. I beg you in the name of God. Please don't do this to me, honey. Please don't do this to me. Don't honey me. Because I mean what I just said. I beg you, don't leave me here. Oh, please. Please, 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 I beg you in the name of God. I'm telling you. 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 For it in terms of cells. Oh God, we are in your hands. Mama. It is true that I told you in the afternoon that I was waiting for someone. The truth is that I am stranded. I don't have anywhere to go to. no food in this house because I did not make enough set to buy something to cook uh, except this loaf of bread. No, no don't worry, I'm not hungry. But you have not eaten anything this morning. Don't worry about me. I'll be okay. Would I be okay for them? Thank you. 
in, in case you want to bat. You do that outside the corner of the house when people are asleep. In the morning, when people are still sleeping. Thank you. Um, I want to sit outside for some time. Uh, okay. Mm. Make sure you don't stand on me. I won't. Thank you. to sleep. I said, who's that device with you? Hey, it's me, Annabelle. Who the hell is Annabelle? Come here, Annabelle. He's my husband. Papa do. Mm -hmm. Annabelle is my friend. She will be staying with us for a while. So what? Talk to me, talk to me. You are more
Decided to take a new wife. Yeah. <laughs> and I have actually gone ahead and uh, taken the wife. Yes. I am in this manner, letting you people know that I have brought in the new wife into our house. And her name is uh, Edmeka. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't want us to forget this. This is very important. Let's not forget. I don't want anybody to forget. Okay? This girl you are seeing here went to university. She has a degree. She's a university graduate. So because of that, I want her to be respected for that. Are you listening to what I'm saying? No. Yes. Is it that the three of us don't satisfy you? Or we don't cook well? Or even run errands for you that make you to go and choose a new wife. Yeah. So your mouth is wrong enough now to challenge me. You have the audacity to question my right God to marry a, 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 another wife. God forbid, nah, Did anybody nah. ask me before I married you? No, it's not that. Nah, 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 nah. We all have seen our new wife, oh. and we all have welcomed her. Make a woman, you are welcome into our home. No, make a welcome. Move. Welcome. Now, is that all? Uh, wait. Uh, is there something you want to eat? Is there something you, you want them to make for you to eat now? Is there rice and salad? <laughs> nah, you know, we have a uh, gari and omono soup. That is all we have in the house. Gari that is all we have. Oh, my dear, you have to manage it. That is what they have now. But after they will cook well, uh, rice, uh, let me tell you, um, these people, they don't know what salad is. You will go to the market, buy this things, and make salad, and buy it's material. Right, it's make salad. Right. But I hope the soup is tasty. You. Uh, you manage it, OK? Hmm. When you start cooking for your husband, you, do, uh, you know all these things that you people want to do in the university. You go and cook and that you make for me. Yeah? I want to advise you. You have to take it easy. This will teach you to crack you. You understand? So, so, so. It's not like that now. So she has a life. I did my best. Watch me. What do you want to do? Use knife to cut the hair. I'm not supposed to pick it. My dear, I use knife to cut the hair. Knife. My hand can cut it. My dear. Please, uh, another time, we, we, I will do this thing. Let me keep using my hand as my mama teach me. Cut the garlic and put it in my bed. Please. Next time, please. Next time, yes. Ah, ah. Let me wash my hand as my papa and my mama teach me to uh, so eat garlic. Yeah. This, this kind of um, mm, love. Don't do my dear.
So she may come back there. Are you deaf or dumb? Chief, I wasn't sure she was referring to me. Okay. She said those dear ma my name is Ozia. My friend, come here. Go to the under of my bill. Take money and go and buy me a scary wire. Chief, don't mind them. All of them are the same. Say, say, tell us. <laughs> The money is in that in a bank. I brought us some to settle it. The moment I live here, I'm going to enjoy it. Yes. But are you going to operate with that gang when you live here? For what? I'm too big for them. Man, now go for my own gang. A powerful and deadly one. Mm. We'll, be, we'll be doing big time job. <laughs> hey, it's my time. Hey, listen to your name. Can I school at the Mara? Uh huh. Who changed the bill? Hey, come on, shut up. My guy, hey, shut up. Come on, 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 What happened to your face? Huh? Tell me. What? Wait a minute. Nancy. Who did this to you? Someone has been beating you. Tell me. I said, tell me. Who did this to you? Alice. <laughs> Please, they're not forgiving you for sending another away. They're not taking everything on me, please. To the thief! Where is he? Where is that thief? Where is that thief? What are you doing here? There's nothing good about the evening or you. Now, leave my house. Leave my house! Uncle, what have I done to you? You locked me up in the police cell for a month. For a crime I did not commit. Okay. And now you're sending me away from my father's house. You kept to put me in my own house? Why are you taking off my sleeve? Okay, I was buying you with it. I'm going to go out and put it out. Shut up, your mouth. Shut up. Now, leave my house. I don't want to see you anywhere near that house. The whole house is my house. <laughs>
Just been driven away by my uncle. But it's a long story, I, I'll tell you everything afterwards. But I just want to ask for a favor. No, no, no. Can I can I stay here with you for a while? Sure. Why not? Why are we friends? If not to help one another. Relax. Feel that home. Okay. No, don't no, watch. No, no, no. That's what I told him, man. Oh, I don't see. So, how's your sister? It's a long story. It's a very long story. Let me try. My dear, ever since you came into my life, you have brought me happiness. Yes. Every day, every day, I feel younger. Yes. And in fact, when I come back to this life next time, uh, I will look for you, search everywhere for you, and marry you again. <laughs> I'll do anything to make you feel happy, Chief. Thank you, thank you. Talking about next life. Yes. Don't you think it would be nice for you to write your ways now? Stroke that hit a man. My question is that will he survive it? Well, the doctor said it was a mild one. Mild one? He will survive it. <laughs> but what I don't understand is why didn't they allow us to see him at the hospital? That hmm? is because he's still in coma. Coma? Yeah. My question is what is the cause of this stroke? Actually, the stroke is caused by excitement. Okay. It can equally lead to high blood pressure. Hey! hey. God, oh, please hey. save our husband oh, for us. Please save him. Oh, Can somebody give me water to beat? <laughs> Look, I don't care if you're my father's wife or not. I think you're the most stupid and irresponsible person I've ever seen in my life. Hey, look here, Nick, what do you call yourself? If anything happens to my father, I will personally strangle you to death. Why are you talking to me like this? Like this because my husband is in the hospital, isn't he? Chief will hear this as soon as he comes back. Okay. Our wife, eh? Me, I. Come. 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 Is it not water to take your bath? It is water now. Okay. So, do you want hot one or cold one? Any one, just give okay. me water. Okay, mm, just wait, I'll get you water to take your bath. <laughs>
that says that the people in the house in this house today and tomorrow, except you will have Oh, I'm so I'm sorry. Forgive me. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. Madam Amelia, she asked me to come and see her. Okay. Oh yes, she's expecting you since. Please come inside. Mm -hmm. uh, please stay, Madam. This girl wants to see her. For you to come so I can thank you for the help you gave me when I was sick. Thank you very much, my daughter. Thank you, ma. God bless you. How are you now? Are you feeling better? Uh, yes. I am better than I was. But the sickness is still there. 
<laughs> what actually happened that day was that I was so sick. Uh, my driver did not tell me he was going to see his wife in the hospital. And my still one went to buy food stuff. And I felt so sick. I, I just had to manage to come to the road where I got a taxi that brought me to where you were selling. I thank God you were there to help me. Thank you very much. God bless you. Oh, Mr. Let's take your box. Uh, it's okay, my daughter. Please get my hand back. Okay. Now tell me about yourself, my dear. I, I come from a family of three. My mother died when I was three years old. Mm -hmm. And my father died last year. Oh. Hi. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, Ma. <coughs> Sorry, Ma. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Thank you, my dear. Mm. Go ahead. I, I ran away from the village to meet my cousin here because my uncle wanted to marry me off to a man of 70 years. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my, when God. I got to Lagos. my cousin had moved. Oh. Since then I've been moving from one place to another. But presently I stay with a woman who sells oranges along the road. Oh my dear. Yes, ma'am. Your story is quite pathetic. Very, very pathetic, I must say. Because I'm still very weak. I have to be in bed right now. Yes, ma'am. You have a very pathetic story. Anyway, before then, please take this. Buy yourself something. Go ahead, take it. Thank you, Ma. You get up. Thank you very much, Ma. God bless you. I have to thank you for saving my life. Let's get up. Thank you, Ma. Thank you very much. It's okay. Get up. Thank you, Ma. To the shop and you weren't there. What happened? I want to cook so before I go to the shop. Okay. <laughs> and do you won't believe this. This is a miracle. When I got to her house, she asked me everything about myself and I told her. Then she gave me 50,000 naira. She said I should buy anything, anything that I want. Hey! 50,000 naira. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, God will bless that to me. Amen. I hope you will take her very well. Hey, auntie. Because 50,000 naira is not easy. Of oh, yes. course, auntie. I thank her very well. Very, very well, auntie. But, I don't know where to. There's something wrong. How come she found herself in just a zida day? If she is as rich as you said, Okay, Auntie, see, she, uh, her driver and the steward were not at home when she had the attack. 
So she had to drag herself to the road to get a taxi, which is a distance from her house. She was so sick, until very sick, that she could not call anyone. She had to brave it. Oh, poor woman. The stress of going out for, to the road must have caused her to vomit. And the foolish driver threw her out. See? People are impatient. If only the driver helped her, she would have rewarded him as she did to you. Of course. <laughs> Auntie, please. This is your own shell. 25,000 there. What? Yes. 25? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You know how many years I have not seen or thought this amount of money? Okay, Auntie, you're going to touch it today. Please, Auntie. Please, take the money. After all, it was your money I used in taking her to the hospital. You have been so good to me. Auntie, you called me your sister, took me in, without even knowing who I am or where I come from. This is the only way I can say thank you. Please, Auntie, take it. Oh. Oh. God bless you. Yeah, Thank you. you. <sighs> 25,000 Naira. Yes, sir. Oh, God. 25,000. Oh. <laughs> You know that heat we would have gotten more than what we got. You know? It's just the delay. I, I was telling you, I said you know. Hey. You look different. The new clothes. Even the cigarettes. So you smoke? Uh, yeah, I, I smoke once in a while, especially when I'm stressed out. Hmm? As for the clothes, they are new. That's it. I'm into this kind of big business with my friends. This your friends. They have bad reputations as armed robbers. Don't mind what people say. Don't you know that people say bad things just to tarnish others' image? Eh? Uche, I'm worried. I'm worried about you and Annabelle. You don't need to worry about us. Hmm? I believe Annabelle is fine. As for me, I'm okay, as you can see. Hmm? Now, just you just have to chill for a while. I'll make enough money, then I'll come and take you away from here. Alright? Remember what Daddy used to tell us? He said that we shouldn't take what is not ours. That everything we do will get the punishment. The problem with you is that you worry too much. Take now, no, buy anything you it. want. I won't because you still have not convinced me of the source of the money. So I won't take it. Fine, suit yourself. See, I came here just to see you. I don't care what you feel. Alright? Just take care of yourself. I'll be on my way now. Huh? Okay? Let me help you. Take care of yourself. Don't tell anyone you saw me. Ah, uh, okay. is everything alright? You once mentioned going to Lagos to do big jobs. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. I think the time is now. See, this village is too small for us. I don't think so. It's dangerous when people around you know the kind of business you do. Especially this our kind of business. You feel me now? So I think the time is just right now for us to move to Lagos and do bigger jobs now, make a better, larger door. Thank you for finding it in your heart to take another with you to your house. I know she being a decent girl, she deserves it. God will bless you, ma. It's okay, my dear. It's all right. Take this, ma. 
one. Use it and improve on your business. That is the sum of 50,000 naira. I will also want you to look around for a school where you will enroll these children so that they will start school. My lawyers will commence the payment of their school fees as soon as you enroll them. Every child deserves to go to school. Oh, God will bless you, man. Every evil plan of your enemy will not prosper. Amen. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Annabelle, please help me thank her. See the money she gave to me. And she promised to send my children to school. Oh, God. Thank you, Mark. God bless you. What is that you are carrying? My bag, Mark. You will not need it. Drop it. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take care of the children too. I'll be coming from time to time to see you. I will not forget you. Take mm. <laughs> care of yourself. Be a good girl. Bye bye. Oh God. Your angel has visited me. The day that girl walked to me to accommodate her. You are the one that taught me to help her. Now, you have blessed her what that me. Oh, thank you, Father. Liz here is my secretary. She will arrange everything and tell you when to start. Is that all right? Yes, ma. Thank you. Whatever is your need, she will see to it. I want you to be very happy. And I want you to make very good use of this opportunity in life. Happened to me, and I made use of it. And I know you two can make it more. Hmm? Thank you. So, mm -hmm. whatever is your other problems, you can just go ahead and tell me. I will do everything to help. Thank you very much. You have done so much for me. I don't even know how to say thank you. But. My happiness will not be complete if I do not talk about my brother and sister. Wherever they are, I know that things are not well with them. <sighs> Lizzie, you see why I like her a lot. <laughs> yeah. 
That is why God will continue to bless her. Don't worry. That's all right. Uh, uh, Liz will arrange and two of you will go to the village and see your people. You can even bring them here. Thank you very much, ma. Thank you. God bless you, ma. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's see, huh? Nancy! <laughs> yes, my dear, look at you. <laughs> How are you? Nancy. Look at you. You don't look good at all. It's Uncle in. No, but Aunt Alice is in. That's my younger sister, Nancy. Okay. Nancy, she is our company's secretary. What? How do you do? Oh. So what about Richie? Where is he? Richie. Uncle put Richie in the police cell. The excuses that he took his money. When Uche came back, Uncle wouldn't allow him to enter the house. Since then, Uche ran away. And I'm hearing that he joined bad companies. And I'm robbery gang. I don't know if he's caught. Or oh, they've left town. Oh, God. It's bad which I end up like this. Anyway, Nancy, I just get your things together, okay? I'll take you to Lagos tomorrow. Me? Yes. So you mean that I'm going to leave this village? No. <laughs> Come on, stop, stop crying, okay? Just stop crying. Hmm? I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going over to my friend, is in this place, to pass the night. I'll come back tomorrow morning to pick you. Hmm? So just take care of yourself, okay? Come on, stop crying. Hmm? Okay. Just take care of yourself. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Take care of yourself, hmm? okay? my friend. Okay. Our company's secretary. Ah. Lizzie, yeah. my uncle and the wife. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Ma. Good afternoon. Ma. Good afternoon. Ma. You're looking <laughs> sweet. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. Anne, there was a car I saw outside. Was it your car? Yes. 
Eh? What do Yes, it's my car. Oh, my Hey! Um, Uncle. Eh? I want to say thank you for all the things you did for us. No, don't mention that. Don't mention that. Mm. May God reward you accordingly. Look, I can do it several times over. Yes! And, hey, yeah, uh, thank God you're back. We've been very, very worried about you since you left. So much worried about you. Uh, would you like to take anything? We have a goosey soup and onubu. Even your uh, neighbor soup? I have no. Aki soup? I love So you should be hungry. What are your friends now? No, I'm okay. Well, yeah, um, I'm okay. Uncle, uh, uh, actually, I, I came to take Nancy with me. Nancy? Nancy? Yes. No, we have arranged for a school for her here. Uh, no. Government school. Don't with scholarship. Uncle, don't worry. I will yeah? take care of that. Nancy, have you eaten? Go in and take some food from the pot. There's fresh food, fresh fish. No, Do you like fish, Uncle? I'm not hungry. Oh, Please. Asa? Uncle, we really have to start going. Ah. Yes, that's fine. Oh, no, no, You are looking sweet. Thank you. Eh? Four pebbles. <laughs> So don't ever forget us. I believe you won't forget us. Um, Uncle, I've heard you. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, Welcome. Good morning to you. Good morning, my dear. That it was a lie. When I heard that you have come back, and now that you have come back, you come back to me, eh? Eh? Am I right to me? Chief, I gave you my daughter to marry. But your wife and children drove her away. By the time he came back here, she was almost dead. What are you asking for again? My wives and children. Not against my marrying another wife. What my wife and children do not like is your rude and disrespectful daughter. This is the guy <laughs> that I want and I will take you. Chief, I have never insulted an elder before. So don't let me insult you. Woman, are you a chief? If I may come in here. If she were to be your daughter, would you let her marry a man old enough to be her grandfather? Yeah, Chief, Chief, look at you. Instead of putting her in a good school so, so she can go and learn more and become responsible tomorrow. Look, you, you don't know anything. See, an agreement. It's an agreement. A covenant. It's a covenant. Chief, Chief then let him give you his daughter. Oh. Okay, Nancy. Yeah, let's but let's it is you that is late. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I think you have to sell this is your house that your brother left for you. Yeah. Uh, Imunadi, did you see your husband? Did you see what he's doing? After he's making, a, after making an agreement with me to give me an abel, did you see him? I wasn't there when the covenant You were not there. Mm -hmm. By the time that this trouble will start, when this house is seized from your hand, you will be there. I don't know. I wasn't there when you were making your arrangements too. Yeah, I think the best thing is to demand for my money. We'll get the guy. Omenagas. Yes. Omenagas. Yeah, Ume, uh -huh. you don't know what you are playing with. Ume na jagaja. Yeah, by the time I finish with you, mm -hmm. you will stop me in my jagaja. Mm. Ume na jagaja. Uh -huh. Ume. Ume na jagaja. I will teach you a lesson. Ume na jagaja. I will teach you a lesson, Ume. Ume na jagaja. Come, let, let's get inside. Come to back, right, left, center. Standing. 
give him a tip, will you, darling? How are you gonna pay back? Oh, come on. How much do you pay One million. Now let's go. Father and gave false evidence against me in court, which led to your father di divorcing me and throwing me out of England. Have you forgotten? You chose to go with your father. So, what are you doing here in my house? Now get out. Mom, he's repented honestly. The devil has become born again, isn't it? I said, leave my house before I call the police. Please, 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 to see if I'm dead so you can come and claim my things. Are you busy? Have you kept your drug habit? Well, I hope so. Because I'm giving you close market from now. I'm watching you. Any turn on the wrong track, I will throw you out of my house. When last did you come back to Nigeria? When did you come last to see me? Even when I was sick, you hardened your heart. For five years, you didn't come to see me. Now you have chosen to come back. I will throw you out. As for your brother, I have forgotten him. I'm making a good move. That means I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna lose out. 
considering the fact that it's going to die soon. I know her. I know what she's gonna do. Sell the property, give him another charity, and her brother, what? Uncle Elvis. You're right, you know. But I can't say I blame her. We haven't exactly been there for her, especially when she needed us. But you know what I think? Since we're not so sure we'll be favored after her death, the best thing to do is to get our hands on those documents. How says how? You know some estate agents that we can count on for that. It's just a question of breaking into mom's safe. And um, I don't think that that's a task that's too much for me to handle. Dear brother. He always got away. <laughs> You know me. I have to sell off some properties. Trust me now. We have to get to it. No time wasting. We have to get to it. Yeah? Yes, I am highly impressed with the way you handled this project. Thank you, Mommy. I wouldn't have done better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mom. You taught me how to do it. Well, you must have learned so fast. <laughs> Please sit down, eh? Yes, Mom. I want to introduce you to the lawyer whose firm manages all our legal affairs in this country. Very soon. It won't be long. Very, very soon. I want you to come and sit down here and take over the affairs of this company. You really impressed me. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Just a minute. Yes. Uh, please call me. The lawyer. Tell him to come to my office right away. Good mm evening. -hmm. We don't have children. In fact, because we are not married. Actually, the same day you left was this, was the day I left her. I guess she should be married to somebody now. I don't know. Well, uh, I hope it has nothing to do with me. <laughs> In a way, you did. 
though uh, it only showed me and opened my eyes to the kind of woman I was about to go into marry. Okay. Anyway, let's not worry ourselves about that. Okay, it's in the past. Okay, let's talk about us now. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad you made it. You know, Chief Mrs. Amelia respects and loves you so much. I mean, so much so that she sometimes wishes you were her daughter, you know? I talk to you. To success. To success. be Lucy. I heard you people came in yesterday, but I've not been able to meet with you. I am Annabelle. Pleased to meet you. So, you must be the thing my mother dragged out of the gutter and made something out of, huh? Excuse me? Look, don't even bother trying to be friendly, okay? Because you won't work with me. I don't mingle with the lower class if you know what I mean so I will advise you to stay as far away from me as possible get it Mr. CJ, let us look at the papers. Right there, yeah. black and white. I can see. I can see. So, Mr. CJ. How much are you actually asking for? I know, I know where the building is, mid of town. So, that's why we're asking for seven mil. Seven what? Seven million. No, 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 CJ. That's outlandish. What about four million naira? Come on, man. Don't, don't pull my legs. You know what? Let's make it six, or I'll look for someone else. Uh, all right, let us not waste too much time on this. I will offer you 5.5 .5 million naira. Is it okay? Anyway, mate, you win. You win. But when and where? I'm not gonna get the dog. I will need some time to tidy up the documents. So you will hear from me next week. Can't you make it any quicker? This thing takes time, you know. So I'll get back to you as soon as we are ready. It's a deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's alright. Yeah. Thanks. Can okay, you just hold on to that? Yeah, keep yeah. that. Yeah. That's a copy we've got ours. Yeah. Yeah. 
Thanks. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see Take you care, man. Thanks. Come on, then. See you later. Okay. You know what, CJ? I think we have to move fast. Before news safe. starts getting around, we also need to get other buyers just in case. Right. Yeah, but it's just, man. Oh. I've been thinking. This, this guy, he looks like mom's. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll look for someone else. And I'll do that okay. right away. Yeah, so we have an alternative, yeah? Yeah. Okay. He's, he's caught, I'm just going to Yeah, I'm just going to say something. Man, I run home, though. Yeah, let me go see what the old hand is. What color of nail polish are you using on me? Gold color. Because I don't want them loud. I don't want young boys chasing after you thinking you are a young babe. <laughs> oh, this girl, you will not kill me. It's alright, sir. They will not chase after me. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, has uh, your sister called? She will tomorrow. Now you know she has to collect her SIM card first. Oh, that's okay. It's just that I prefer her calling me with her own phone instead of calling me from a public booth. Oh dear. I, it was all my fault. I shouldn't have allowed her to go upload for her youth service. I miss her a lot. Hello? Yes? What? Are you sure? All right. Please come to the house immediately with those documents, eh? Uh, yeah. Hello? Uh, please call Barrister Fortune. Tell him to come to the house immediately, too. Thank you very much, eh? <sighs> the student will not kill me. My dear, we have to go downstairs.
He runs one of the estate management agencies that take care of that property. You and your brother chose to sell my property to him. Quite unfortunate. You see what I mean? You and your brother are nothing but come, taking after your father. Now get out of my house. Give me. Take this. This is the document of the property you sold to him. I give it to you as your inheritance. Take it and get out of my house. You have only 10 minutes to pack your things and leave. So you are throwing me out, just like you threw out my brother. Why don't you just let me live my life? Huh? It's always losing this, losing that. And you wonder why I never come home. Now shut your mouth up and leave my house. Go and pack your things and leave. Fine. I said leave. Fine, I'm going. Get in my house. Get out. I'm going. Get out of my house. Get. Wait, she just called. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. It would have been nice if, if she were here. No, 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 please. <coughs> Nothing will happen to you. You will see her. Just hang on. Amela. <coughs> This is saving to your brother. I am here. <coughs> the lawyers are here. <coughs> the lawyers are here. Don't talk again, is it? Sorry, sorry. It's okay, it's okay. I called you all here. So, no. It's okay. Easy. Mommy, 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 sorry. It's okay, please. Oh. Sometimes you will know that. Mommy, please. It's alright. <coughs> Don't talk. Stop talking. Giving up the ghost? She, she has given up the ghost. So why don't you give it to me? It's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to sleep. And I bet it's okay. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'll get back to you guys, okay? Annabelle, go to your room, go to your room.
contributing in the street. Yes. Hi. I understand you're my mom's lawyer. I do see her around though, but I don't understand your own position. Well, uh, like you know, I am a lawyer. So, how can I help you? Papa? Oh, no, no, you can't help me. As you know, I'm CJ Christopher Jr. And I'm Lucy, her first child. I'm aware. Good. I don't understand you're in position of my mom's property documents. I'm just wondering, when are you going to hand them over? God. You amaze me. You mean your mother just died and all you can think of is her property documents? She's dead. Well, um, in case you don't know, there is a will which must be read after her funeral. When you're burying her, that I don't know, you go ask your uncle. Ah, yes, ah, in case you don't know your uncle, that's it. Excuse me. Oh, oh, Elvis. Hi. Um, I'm just wondering when will the funeral take place? Because. My quality of advice is until the funeral, you will not be there. You have not changed Christopher Jr. Your mother died last night. All you think of is inheritance. No. Calm down, man. Just chill. Oh, wow. Don't want my sister disowned you. You are a disgrace. Oh. And you, Lucy. Yes, Uncle. I don't know between two of you who is better. My sister had two of you, and yet it was as if she had no child. Headlines. Shame on you. Shame on you. Yada yada yada. Shame on you. Yada yada yada. Shame on you. Shame on you. Uh, what do we do now that mommy's gone? Where do we go from here? You know, CJ and Lucy, they never liked us. And I know they would like to throw us out from this place. And what do we do? God, is this our destiny? We are back to the same situation. God, you have taken away the one we called our second mother. Oh. Well, 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 my little ones. The orphanage is closed. Your benefactor is dead, and as you know, I am the first child. Therefore, I decide what happens to our property, including this house. And as you know, I am not as charitable as my dearly departed mother as to continue allowing you guys stay here, because I don't mingle with the lower classes. So I suggest you pack your things and get out now, or else I will throw you out. And believe me, nothing else will give me as much pleasure. You have five minutes and counting. Am I talking to myself here? You, you didn't have to count. You need to give us enough time to pack our things. Not on your life, darling. Out. I said get out! Nonsense.
are moving out. The new landlady has asked us out of the house. Really? Just like that? Just like that. She threatened to throw us out if we don't move out. So, okay. Where are you going? I don't know. Maybe take into a hotel for a week or thereabout until we're able to get the house. Don't mind that stupid girl. Can you imagine her telling me, me, that I'm fired? <laughs> well, I told her she never employed me and her company did. And that she has no right to fire me. Well, I'll be resuming the office tomorrow. So let her come there and fire me. That's if she can. Well, talking about you moving into a hotel. Baby girl, I don't think it is wise. I'll advise you not to. Okay, I have a two-bedroom apartment. I'm staying in one. And you can take over the other one. That's if, you, if it is okay by you. Thank you very much. One taken care of. Yeah, good, good, good. Next thing to do, walk into that office, mm -hmm. take over the place. <laughs> but you know what? Imagine, imagine how much money I'll be controlling. You know what? Do you know that mom actually handed over to that Annabelle to act as CEO on her behalf? Hmm. Once that will is read, and I have absolute power. I'm gonna fire that stupid Annabelle and that stupid ass lawyer and everybody else there. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Whew. Who are we waiting for? Toast to it then. I think so. Yeah. Steward! Uh, oh. Correction. Oh. We, we just fired him. Okay. All right, then we we'll go to the bar. Get some we'll drinks. Do something else up. No, no, no. If you are not going to address me properly, then leave my office. <laughs> Madam, whether you like it or not, you're my boss now. I'm waiting. <laughs> okay. How else do you want me to address you? I'm still waiting. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And Peter. Is that okay by you? <laughs> okay, so what can I do for you? Guess who wants to see you? Who? It is in fact terrible. <laughs> Christopher Junior. What does he want? I don't know. Maybe you should ask him yourself. Shall I ask him in?
Hello, Mr. Miguel. Ah. My name is Christopher Jerry. Nice to meet you. Welcome, sit down. I think I've heard so much about you. And my mom has got a great deal for you. I just want to say thank you for the way you've been there for my mom. Thank you. I have also heard a lot about you. But I must confess that the things I've heard have not been impressive at all. I know. No. I've never behaved the way I meant to, but by the time I realized it, it was too late. I tried to make her my mom. wouldn't accept it. I know she would. He shall live longer. I'm a loser. Anyway, I just came back came by to see how the place looks like and to thank you for being there for my mom. Nice of you to come. Would you want me to show you around? Although I was about going for lunch, but I can spare the time. Oh, no. You know what? My job will be complete if you let me take her for lunch. See, I... Come on now. You know your family. We're family now. At least let's go out and get to know each other more. Please. Okay. Oh. For the sake of family. Oh. Before we do that, I just want to say, I'm really sorry the way my sister kicked her from the house. I'm really sorry. And I'll please love you to come back to the home where you belong. <laughs> Thank you very much for your considerations. Um, but I am happy where I am. Very soon, I'll move into my own house. Where shall we? Out in. So what? I enjoy spending time with you. Seriously, I do. Come here. <clears throat> Hi. 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 I'll call you. Please do so. No. Okay. Uh -uh. I'm sure you'll start by telling me where you come from. Where you disappeared. I thought I called you um, and told you I won't be coming back to the office because I didn't have much to do. Okay. Okay, so where are you coming from? <laughs> see, see, see. This baby smile of yours will not lead you anywhere. No, 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 not for me. Just tell me where you're coming from. Answer me. I went to a restaurant, mm -hmm. then to the beach, uh -huh. and back to another restaurant. God, it was so wonderful. You know, I've never really losing job like this before. Okay. I enjoyed myself. You know, CJ is a nice person. He makes me laugh a lot. I think I like him. Yeah, I'm happy for you. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you're happy too. Okay? But I don't know this young man too well. And I still insist you have to be very, very careful. Did you get me? Um, by the way, why is the fortune came to look for you? Oh, yes! Oh, God! I... God, he asked me to go out for a dinner with him. I, 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 I forgot. Um, I, has it occurred to you that it might be possible that Barista Fortune is in love with you? How can you say a thing like that? It cannot be true. See, I look at him as a big brother. That's all. Oh, girl. You have eyes, but you cannot see. Anyway, he said I should remind you that the reading of the will is tomorrow, 9 a.m. 
Oh yeah, the will. Why should I be there? It's not my business. What business of mine is it? It's your business. You have to be there. You're leaving me behind. Why won't I leave you? At least you just came back. Oh. Let's go inside. Okay. I can't be standing. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, so having made introductions, I'll proceed to bring out this, the will. Except if anybody has a question. Yes, I have a question. What is she doing here? I can understand the lawyers because they're witnesses to the will. My uncle Elvis, because he's family. The secretary, because she has to take account of today's events. But Annabelle, I don't get. Um, well, Missy, um, your mother made it so. In due time, I know you get to understand this, okay? Having settled that, uh, I proceed to bring out the wheel from the, my briefcase. Here we are. This is the wheel seal. So I'll go ahead and open it now. Um, my learned friend, is this the wheel that you witnessed Mrs. Amelia, Chief Mrs. Amelia Johnson sign? Witnessed this will. All right then. Okay. So having sorted all that out, I think I should go ahead and read this will. Will and testament of Chief Mrs. Amelia Johnson. Know it all men by this presence that I, Chief Mrs. Amelia Johnson, female adult Nigerian citizen certified saying and of sound mind do hereby make and give this testament as my last and final will it is my earnest wish that the contents of this will should not be contested in any way legal or otherwise i hereby distribute my estate according to the will made this day 12th of november 2004 witnessed by barrister Jonathan Eze, Kingsley Femi, and Mrs. Alvis Johnson, signed by Chief Mrs. Amelia. The will thus reads, One million naira should be given to Christopher Jr., whom I disowned long ago. One million naira should go to my daughter Lucy, and the house at number five, Adeniwa Ogunsoya. That is the house she almost sold without my consent. Five million naira should go to Nancy Ndupe and the house at number 23, Okota Road, Isola. Ten million naira should go to Annabelle, whom I now take to be my daughter, and the house I presently live in should also go to her. In addition, she is hereby made the CEO of the company and she should be appointed to the board of directors of this company. Five million naira should go to the orphanage. Five million naira to my brother Elvis and his children. Five million to him also for the appointment as the chairman board of directors of the company. Every other property should be seen as a company. My lawyer, Fortune Ekena, and secretary, Lizzie Okeze, should be allowed to own a percent, one percent, in the company's share. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the reading of the real world. I will not have this! I'm going to contest this in the law courts! Suit yourself, you see. God be the glory. 
CJ. I understand how disappointed you are. But I want you to still look at me as your best friend. I will always be here for you. Okay? You know what? This is the best thing I've ever heard since I came to Nigeria. You know, the best thing that ever happened to me. Thanks. away with it. They won't! CJ, can you please be serious for once in your life? This is a serious issue. Sis, man, what are you going to do? No, tell me, what are you going to do? You've consulted your lawyers and they said there's nothing you can do about the will. Nothing. So what are you going to do? But the thing is, there must be another way of getting into that place. And that's game for Annabelle. Getting the money, the company, and the properties. You know what, sis? I've already entered her. <laughs> Enter her, out of her, whatever. I don't care. All I know is that she has to die. You what? She has to die. That is the only way we can get our hands on the property. And this man, you're talking about killing somebody. How else are we going to get the property? Are you with me? CJ, answer me for God's sake. Are you with me? Don't you want the property anymore? Answer me for God's sake. She has to die. In fact, I know some guys that will knock her out without it getting traced to us. Yes. But we have to move out of here. We have to move into a hotel for her. So we can finalize the plans. Okay? Are you cool? Good. again. happier moments than this. 
You make me have a reason to leave. I will always love you. I never, baby. You know, you've changed my life. And I wish my mom was here to see it. I would have gone back to London. If not for you. Oh baby. I love you. I love you too. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And to show you how serious I am. Tomorrow, we're going to the court. And we're going to get married. Wait a second. I think I was meant to say, will you marry me first? <laughs> whatever way, whatever way you put it, I will marry you. So did what? I am married. See, I got married yesterday to CJ in a quiet court wedding. This is my wedding ring. Later I will take him to my village to see my people. Are you out of your mind? What am I hearing, Annabelle? What, what am I hearing? A friend of mine at the register said you came, you, you got married to a guy yesterday. Is that true? Yes, of course, it's true. Is there any law against my getting married? Why? Why, Annabelle? Why are you doing this to me? Wait a minute. What is the problem here? Look, that guy wants to marry because of what he can get from you. He means no good! No, stop I... it! Stop it! How do you pass judgment on someone you know nothing about? Please, I will not entertain that again. If you don't mind, I am busy. I must tell you your thoughts, Barrister Fortune, so, so much. But you cannot keep telling me this guy loves you so much and you wouldn't listen to me. It is out of modesty that he has not told you yet. Yes. How am I supposed to know? I've only seen him as a caring and loving big brother. I am fond of him and I look up to him for advice. But this guy, CJ, came into my life and asked me to marry him, and I did. Maybe can you trust that it's, it's, it's so sudden? And I also think it's a mistake. Can't you get it? That will be all for now. You scum! You think I don't know your plans? You went and covered your mind because of what you want to get from her, isn't it? Get your hands off me, man. What's your problem? I'm watching you. God knows. I will nail you. Oh, yeah? Be sure that your days in this company are over.
Okay. I know you have a lot to do in your office. Over the money, the company, all the other properties. But, sis, we've got a problem. What's that? We need to look for a way to get rid of that stupid lawyer and the secretary. You know what? That's a good idea, but that will take time. I've got a quicker solution. Listen, do you realize that if Annabelle dies now, you, as her husband, stands to gain the property. <laughs> and if we move quickly and sack the board, you gain full control of the company! Yes, she has to go. And I've made adequate arrangements for just that. Yes. Do you think... We've, we've got this is just like we're going round and round the circle. We've talked about it. Do you think Queen Annabelle will make any difference? Trust me, this is the best thing to do. The guys I've hired are utter professionals. You know what? Let's just chat to them, yeah? And we'll take it from there. That must be them. Um. What are you talking about, Uchi? Guys, guys, I beg, I beg, I beg. You see, I know you live chief for village. All the girls call me can preach. You see, this assignment you we must carry her on, whether you like it or not. What assignment? Hmm? It's even an abomination to mention that my own group will hit my own blood system. from outside. Kiki, good thing you are here. It is about the job I was setting up. The job has clicked. I would have been mobilized. This is the money. This is the money the picture of the girl. <laughs> that is nice. A good job you've done. <laughs> the girl in that picture is my sister. What? Are you serious? You mean this is your sister? My immediate elder sister. She can't die like this. Not while I'm alive. Do you realize what you do to our reputation if you collect money and do not do the job? That what we are today is because once we are contracted, we hit irrespective of who it is. I know. Take him. I know. And I still maintain that anyone, any soul that must kill my sister will have to kill me first. What do you tell you? I'm wise. We are allowed to do this job without emotional attachment. And so we do it. And so we do it. They said we don't. Take him. We can't. We won't! We don't! We won't! We can't! That's my blood man! Can you get it?
hardly left the compound when they started shooting and shouting and that's when they dug me from the car and that's when they took my wife and said that they take her for insurance purposes that if the car stops anywhere that they'll kill her I am Sergeant Banco, and here with me is Corporal Dowder okay. from the Central Police for investigating a, a case of kidnap involving Miss Annabel. Um, who is Mr. Christopher among you? I am Officer Um, and he's about my wife. Yes, I'm afraid it is not a good news. We found your car and a lot of blood, which we suspect to be that of your wives. Please say what you want to say, okay? I'm listening. Anyway, as you know, it's been about a week my wife died. Everything has been on a standstill. No effort to go back as normal. So, I want to bring all the documents that belong to my wife to me. And as a husband, all the documents belong to you. Isn't it? And as you're coming, Bring your resignation papers because you are fired! my things because I've just been sacked. That makes it two of us. I was asked to bring all the uh, documents in my possession. Are they in? Yes, they are in. They said you should wait. you guys for saving my life but right now I want to see those people arrested I can't help but imagine the damage they will be doing in my absence see I really have to show myself okay Annabelle just calm down okay you don't have to show yourself I mean the whole situation is complicating enough the most important thing now is that you're with me and you're safe. So let's end it on this. Uche, you, you don't understand. I have to take over my office. That is it. So I have to show myself. Go ahead and do whatever you want to do. So long it doesn't implicate us. Of course not. I can't implicate you people. 
That is why I want to call this lawyer friend of mine. Lawyer me. friend? Yes, Uche, so that he can help us fashion this whole thing out. I don't I don't like this. <laughs> It's it's me, Annabelle. Huh? See, don't tell anyone that I am alive. Okay? Come immediately to Naomi Hotel. Room 407. Uh well, okay, uh, I'll see you in a jiffy, okay? <clears throat> uh yes, uh just I'll see you, okay? Bye. Okay, thank you. Guys, um sorry, I'll see you in ten minutes. My friend, can I have the garden documents? Just do it right, okay? So, out. I'll see you guys, okay? I'll see you. What is wrong with this guy? Ugh! Oh. Last time I'm going to express myself about this. Yeah. If police comes into this matter, I'm out of it to take a camera. My brother Uche and a friend KK. KK Uche, this is Barista Fortune, the one that first helped me when I came to Lagos. He's the company's lawyer. So, what happened? Well, um, my brother and his friend are just businessmen doing their business. When someone approached them to eliminate me, they were given a picture which turned out to be mine. So, they played along and abducted me, giving the impression that I was dead. Well, I am not about to doubt or question the authenticity of the story, okay? But I know, I know the police would buy it. I, and I think we should invite them now. Don't you think I'll be implicating my brother? Oh, well, I'm sorry about that, but the police must be invited now. Because has to be done right. Okay? Sis, man. Why should this guy not be funny? I don't see how he can be funny. The issue here is that that Annabelle is dead. And you, as her husband, is entitled to her wealth. <laughs> Just relax. He'll be here. What That's I tell you, best. the fool is mm -hmm. here. Come in! It's about time too. Annabelle! Where is the food? 
Fortune said I should help him pass this document to you. By the way, someone is sitting on my seat. Could you please excuse me because I have work to do. Darling, um, I'm, I'm so worried about you. I missed you. Hope you're okay, Abby. I thought you were home and would help him. But you are exactly what your mother said you are. A selfish idiot. I can explain. Could you two excuse me? Because I have work to do. I'm giving you two minutes to leave. And I'm counting. For conspiracy to commit murder. Get them arrested. Five. Shut up! I have five. For whatever you think, you are going to do I didn't mean to do it. Shut up! You made her out of there! Baby, she made me do it. Get out of my office. Please. I love you. Baby, I love you. She made me do it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Take them away. Get out of here. Get out of here. Take them away. Move. Move. Not testify like your friends. Uh, Annabelle, there's something we have to understand. 
everyone must be responsible for his actions. Okay? Today I made up my mind to join an armed robbery gang. I knew I had something. Don't talk like this, okay? But it's the fortune and I are doing something about you, your release. The IPO said that see that you get a light sentence or possibly an acquittance in court. Oh. Okay, please. Yeah, anyway, it comes. I'm ready to hear the consequences. Join now is that you and Nancy are better off today. I have to die, let me die. But so far as you're free from all today's maltreatment, I need to thank you for this help. I just want you to take care of yourself. Don't cry, okay? Don't cry. It's all right. Now send, send him back to the cell. Maya. Send him quick, quick, quick. They go. Leave. Ah, this is the play, yeah? I am not here. I am not just going to be ready. Enter. 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 Keep struggling to survive every day, but the good in your heart will make a way. 